Big Herc 916, Positivity Motivation. And uh, when I sit back and think about it, as far as why so many young black men run to the streets, take naturally to violence, and don't really care about hurting another black man, what it all comes down to, a lot of these young fellas need a hug in their life. I bet you if you went around and you asked most of these young black males, if they've ever been hugged by their father, by their uncle, by their grandfather, with an embracing warmth, one out of a hundred would tell you no. Might even be one out of a thousand because black men don't know how to love themselves, man. They don't know how to love each other. They don't know how to embrace another human being that looks like themselves. But they have no problem being violent towards another human being that looks like themselves. That's the reality, man. I can count on Shit. I could probably count on my hand how many times I've been hugged by a male family member with like, you know, that that embrace that says, you know, it's going to be all right. You know, I love you, grandson, or I love you, nephew, or I love you, cuz. I can't remember, to be honest. I've never been hugged by my dad. But I used to be willing to embrace violent confrontation with another brother without hesitating. That's anger, man. That's anger inside. We have a lot of anger and hatred. And we taught to hold it in, because if you show any sign of weakness, if you cry, you, you soft, you're a weenie. So you just hold it in, and then you hold it in, and eventually you lash out in violent burst. Maybe you get into it with the with the homie or with somebody that you've been building up anger with. Maybe you go out and entertain a thought about robbing somebody just because you got all that pent up anger and frustration. See, our souls are clouded, man. Clouded with a lot of negative feelings emotions, things that we've been taught that we haven't been purified from. Most of these young men ain't never had a male figure even sit down and have a talk with them. That's why they doing drugs, you know, why they alcoholics, why they can entertain every day just being high like that's cool yeah i'm high i get high man that's what we do so what uh because they think that's what they use to mask a true emotions they hide man you hide inside and you don't know how to express yourself so getting high is a way to express yourself and you think it's you know that's cool and you're high it don't matter when you're high you can do anything you can go put in work you can pop that pistol, you can, you know, whoop on somebody, you could talk crazy, because the hiding gives you that false sense of security. And it makes it okay in your mind. 
But it's not okay, man. We got to get back to some spiritual righteousness, man. We got to find ourselves. We got to figure out some solutions for our young people. We act like it's a, a proud job title when our baby moms are stripping. You know, she out here doing fans only. And ain't nothing proud about that. Would you want your daughter to be doing that, man? I know that you do certain things to survive, but there's so much more you could be doing. That, that daughter of somebody who's stripping now to maybe support her child because her baby daddy's locked up, she could have been an engineer, man. She could have been a doctor. She could have been a lawyer. Yet we are embracing a narrative that is taking our whole culture backwards. And that's because we don't, we don't know our spirituality and we don't love ourselves. I learned to love myself, man. I had to figure it out behind them walls, but I learned to love myself. And I learned to find truth within me. And these weren't things I, were, I was taught by my mom or by my, my grandmother or my grandfather. I had to find these things myself. And yeah, it was outside my family. You know, OG laced me up. But maybe if I would have had that father figure, maybe I wouldn't have even done a lot of the things I did because I would have had that, that love. And see, you could, everybody's like, oh, you know, the church loves you. Man, look, man, the church is having you go outside yourself to find yourself. If you have to go outside yourself to find the truth, you will never find the truth because you will constantly be dependent on somebody to tell you what your truth is. If you want to find your truth and be sustainable, you have to be the truth because you already are the truth, but they tricked you into thinking you're not the truth. Therefore you go to them for the answers, which therefore you give, you make them think they're the truth when all they're doing is telling you what is already inside of you, but yet they're utilizing their ability to tell you that you need them, which empowers them because on all actuality, you don't need them. They're irrelevant. You're the truth. Who, who, who's given these people authority over you to tell you what's best for you? You got the same brain. You got the same neurology, neuro, neuro capabilities of understanding, meditating, tapping into your penile gland to, to, ignite your chakras. You have the same potential to do that on your own. Once you are enlightened, you don't need to go to somebody else's temple. Your body is your temple. Once you learn that, once you learn to love yourself and how to find self, how to center self, you will be beyond powerful and your ability to make choices and decisions will change dramatically. I'm trying to lace you up on some real stuff, man. I don't to come to this and I'm talking off the top of my head because you know, I, I'm letting the spirit talk to me, man. I'm, I'm just spitting. I'm just spitting right now from the spirit because I never had no male hug me and tell me I love you. I'm not talking about no weirdo shit. I'm talking about in a true embrace. Therefore I had to learn who I was, what my purpose was and how to love myself. But I'm trying to tell you, if you are a black male and you're watching this, if you're a male and you're watching this and you have a male uh, around you as far as a young man that looks up to you or a child or a younger relative, man, give him the strength, man. Embrace him and let him know it's all right to cry that if you don't know something, if you're trying to figure something out, it's all right to ask. It's all right to uh, be curious. It's all right to uh, uh, express yourself. 
It's all right if you're scared. Because you don't want him to start making choices based on emotions, especially negative emotions, that will ruin his life. You know, a lot of this stuff comes to me when I'm driving. I, I just had a five-hour drive the other day from uh, San Diego to Arizona, man. And that's where I get my best thoughts, man. So I just want to get, get this out on this, uh, this vlog, man. But, you know, I was listening to something, man. I thought about it, man. How many times have I been hugged by somebody in my family as far as a male that said, man, it's going to be all right. It's all right to get it out, man. You know, I've been there. I didn't know, you know, I've... I know life is rough, you know, it's, it's, it could be confusing, it could be scary. It's times I've been scared to death, man, as far as how to, how am I going to make it? What, 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 what is my purpose? But I don't say nothing, I hold it in. In the pen, you know how many people want to cry in the pen, man? There's a lot of people that want to cry and they hold it in. <coughs> you ain't got to hold it in, man. I'm here with you, Big Herc916. Share this video with your family members, with your with your your OGs, with your with your with your with your father, with your uncle, with your grandfather. You know, we we gotta we gotta tighten our game up, man, and uh, stop looking at each other as being our <clears throat> being our enemy and self-destructive, man, and start embracing each other, man. Big Herc 916. Don't forget to stop by the Big Herc 916 store and pick up a sticker for your car or a patch or a sticker for your laptop or maybe a beanie or read one of the many books that Big Herc 916 has authored. You know how we do it. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking.